What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. Happy Friday. Is Angela Merkel on her way out? <laughs> Is it almost a wrap? You know, she's one one um, uniquely looking uh, German woman. I was in Germany, a little little, little uh, base called Sembach. That was my first tour, my first stop in my Air Force career. You know, looking back, I probably should have just rode it out in the Air Force, man. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I wanted to get out and do something different. But anyway, yeah, I mean... <sighs> Anyway, you, you, I'll, I'll I'll leave the German woman talk for another podcast. <laughs> but she's not the the finest um, uh, example. But you know she's a, a very smart woman, and uh, but her policies on uh, immigration is like, hey, I think the German people are tired are finally tired of it. After years of cautious sparring, Angela Merkel's standoff with her party's Bavarian partners over refugee policy. Escalated in a bare knuckled brawl on Thursday, threatening both the stability of Germany's grand coalition and the conservative bloc that has been a bedrock of its pit political establishment for decades. Merkel's refusal to endorse a plan by her Bavarian interior minister to turn back some refugees at the German border set the stage for a showdown that bearing barring any last minute compromise could bring down her government. <laughs> this dispute ostensibly revolves around the question of whether Germany should turn back refugees who applied for asylum in other EU countries. Merkel opposes the policy on grounds that could hasten the collapse of Europe's system of open frontiers. <laughs> by forcing Germany's neighbors to impose border controls. Like, why would they... So, I guess the plan is they get to Germany and then apply for asylum in the other EU countries. Like, I think... Uh, I thought I read that the, the gimme dats, the gimme dats <laughs> in Germany aren't aren't as great as is some other countries. So I guess they, the, the, the refugees, get to, they try to get there and then get to other, other places. Um, you know, it's, it's wild, man. It's really, really wild what's happening in the world today, especially with this, um, this uh, recolonization of Europe. <laughs> um, I, I just... Man, man, I I don't know what to say. You know, Merkel has been destroying Germany for so long, and now it, it finally takes well, y'all to to stand up for yourselves. You know, um, it doesn't. It shouldn't take a genius to see what they're doing with the the refugees. You know what I mean? There's not that much chaos in the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like where was this jump? Why is there this big? You should be. People should be asking themselves, why is there this big jump in the, in the last couple decades when previous decades there was nowhere near the amount? You know, um, I said I was in Germany. I was in, uh, I didn't see that many, uh, there wasn't that many Africans and, and stuff like that when I was in Germany. When I went to Italy, there was a whole bunch of them jokers out there. Uh, that was even back in the day. But I mean, we didn't, you didn't see them like, you didn't see them like, um, you didn't see Africans like in the, um, just walking down the street and shit like that. We, we went to the club a couple times when we was over there. Then, then the Africans was in the club deep, boy. It was crazy. Um, uh, but, you know, it's changed, obviously, now. You know, and <laughs> some people, they say destroy Germany. Then we, you know, you talk about the, uh, what happened in New Year's Eve and shit like that during, in Germany. Um, they got to do something. You know, and, and Merkel's coming from the, the side of, you know, it has to be a EU thing. We all have to decide together. I'm like, man, <laughs> the EU might fall apart. I <laughs> like the EU. I don't. I just don't understand how how the. Um, I mean, I guess it's a little different. I'm coming from the mentality of an American citizen. You know, I haven't been in, in a country ravaged by war in the last uh, 
over the, uh, a couple centuries ago, you know, and you'll probably still that's that's fresh. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean that's fresh. You know what I mean? War, war is hell. You know what I mean? It's nothing like take take light up. You know, as we can see in, in Iraq, you know what I mean? It's still it's still fucked up, man. You know, in Syria, it's gonna be fucked up for decades. You know what I mean? So we'll see. But anyway, let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope this lady <laughs> is on her way out. Anyway, this is Oklahoma. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.